Welcome to our another video, in this video we'll demonstrate how to use T-Shine app for different modes to optimize the solar energy usage and power distribution based on grid and battery status. Hope this video helps you. Step 1, Downloading the T-Shine app. For Android users, locate the Google Play Store on your device and type T-Shine in the search bar. For iOS users, access the Apple Store and search for T-Shine. Step 2. Register an account and login. After completing download, open the T-Shine app, you will see two options, login and register. If you registered previously, you just can directly log in putting your email and password. If you are a new user then click register. You will see the register page as picture shown. Please complete the registration information as required. Step 3. Add a station first. After completing your registration, add station page will pop up. Click on add station as shown red circle with plus sign. Then the next step will pop up. Please fill up your station information as required. Clicking save will take you to final stage. Now you have successfully completed adding your solar power station on T-Shine Cloud Monitoring System. The path of adding microinverter devices. From home page, click the plus sign on the right top corner. To add microinverter keep your phone within 10 meters range to the microinverter. Scan inverters the QR code by your mobile, or directly scan the QR code from inverter's backside Wi-Fi sticker. After scanning the QR code, you will get the Wi-Fi SN number, then click, will redirect to next page. If you forgot turn on your mobile Bluetooth, in this step the app will automatically remind you to turn on Bluetooth. You also can find the Wi-Fi SN number directly from inverter's backside. Type your home Wi-Fi account and password, click will redirect to the configuration page. In the configuration page, you just wait about 20 seconds to be completed the configuration. The inverter will be successfully added. If your plant is storage type, then you will have access to three different settings. Microinverter, battery, and controller. Click microinverter icon for detailed data, inverter model, SN, software version, temp, state, grid standards, voltage, frequency, output current, power, energy slash day slash month slash year, cumulative energy. Also, view PV voltage and current. If users want to add an additional auxiliary microinverter, click on inverter settings. Enter the inverter serial number, SN, and provide the necessary details. Once the information is provided, the new inverter will be successfully added to the system. Clicking on Battery icon will show you the batteries, SN, and version. To set up and an additional auxiliary battery, click on Battery Settings. On this page, you need to select the type of battery and battery voltage and decide whether the battery BMS is present or not. Unauthorized modification by non-professionals is strictly prohibited. To alter voltage, manufacturer-issued password is mandatory. Clicking on controller icon will display the controller unit serial number, SN, and version. To set up the storage unit, click on controller settings. On this page, you need to provide the controller SN, operation start time, operation end time, and specify the desired limit for the inverter's output during this period. For storage system plant users will see the homepage layout as the picture given. There are two main modes of work to be chosen. Storage mode. Zero feed in mode. Storage mode. In storage modes, users have three options to prioritize. Battery charge priority. Loading priority. Feed in grid priority. Zero feed in. In zero feed in mode two priority can be set. Battery charging priority. Loading priority, feed in GERD is disabled by default in this mode. To learn more about T-Shine app, 
please check out our user manual. Thanks for watching.